Welcome back everybody to this new video of TechPress. Today I'm going to show you how to get started to walk you through the process of transferring a domain from a section of the Hostinger to another account of Hostinger. So the very first thing I want to do is to sign in directly into my Hostinger account. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description guys just in case you haven't claimed a great deal directly here into Hostinger. Once you are here into Hostinger, you're going to sign in and you can locate your actual panel of your products. Inside here, what I wanted to do is to prepare the domain for the transfer. In the account that currently holds the domains, go to the domain section into the upper side. Let's go for domains. Now, select the domain which you like to transfer to ensure it's unlocked. The domain needs to be unlocked to be transferred and if you have uh, anything expiration code, you might need to pay for it before transferring it. As you can see, you have the status of this URL as active expire we have a lot of time and the auto renewal is disabled i'm going to go for disabled now that i have everything out of here let's go for managed and into managed i wanted to make sure that i can scroll all the way down and make sure that here into my dns name servers i don't have any issue here so if i go for the domain ownership i have all my data in here Let's go for the domain overview once again. And now, as you can see, I have the transfer lock. So easily secure domain from unauthorized transfer. In this case, I wanted to disable the transfer locked. And here is the authorization code. So request the authorization code, also known as the DEE code from Hostinger. This code is essential for verifying the transfer will be usually received via email or through the domain management panel. So I'm going to just leave this hosting or section as it is. I'm going to go and open a new tab, but I'm going to go for a new um, browser and I'm going to go for host Tinger once again. And now I am inside the other um, new hosting account. So here, what I need to do is to initiate a transfer in the receiving account. So once you're logged it in, you want to go once again into domains. So let's go into the other browser and of course choose a domain which you would like to send back. So for making this transfer, it says the domain has now already been uh, registered directly into Hostinger. I go back once again into the other account and here I choose the option that says transfer of my domains. So I go for transfers, move domain to another Hostinger account. I go for continue. And now this one should be telling me the domain ownership. As you can see here it is. If I select the option that says initiate domain moved, this one should be sending me here which says moved uh, to another account. So this should be the new email that's gonna be now the owner of this new, of the same domain of course. So this is the current domain that we currently have and domain move initiates successfully. So requested to move the domain accounts associated to this account. So if I go for closed, I go back into my other account and into the upper side, you should see that we have the new notification about it. So if I make sure that I do have now here, my account, let's go back into home. And if you have received now a notification, that you can accept the domain, you just have to accept this. If you don't, you can go directly into sign in, into Hostinger to confirm the transfer of my new domain. So I'm going to hit now into accept. I can close now this other windows. And as you can see now down here, what I need to do is to go directly into my domains and the transfer list is no longer appearing in here. So as you can see, now I can go directly into the transfers and make sure that my transfer has now been successfully added into my account. Reload the page and receive the notification that your new website, that your new domain has now been transferred directly into your account. So this might be taking a few minutes to be localized directly into your store. So you might want to be taking care of it. And once the transfer is completed, you'll be receiving a notification and the domain will be appearing and the receiving hosting your account. Your domain is now successfully been transferred to one uh, domain into another hosting or so prior. So that's it guys, you have successfully transferred your domain between hosting your accounts. If you find this guide helpful, please like the video, subscribe to Express, and hit the notification bell in order to see much more great elements. Thank you once again for watching the video guys, and hopefully we can all see you next time.